Hello YouTube, it is Kim or Ms. Fantastic, and this is day five of the Shrine the Light uh, video, seven day video series. Um, it's Sunday. So um, I've been waiting for a few days because I wanted to collect my thoughts uh, before I made this video because I am never crying on video again, <laughs> I hope. Um, so I just, uh, I guess what I want to say is uh, I didn't go to church today, but I've been um, thinking a lot about God and my gratitude and counting my blessings and just thinking of all the things that are so wonderful in my life and that I have to be grateful for. Um, and right now, one of the biggest things I have to be grateful for is my weight loss surgery family. Um, I just wanted to thank all of you for all of your help and support that you have given me this last week. Um, so many of you have called me on the telephone or texted me, and so many of you made those wonderful video responses or just uh, shouted out to me in your own videos or even just your comments on my videos. Um, I truly, truly feel blessed to have all of you in my life, and I just want you to know that um, your support and your love, well, first of all, I feel surrounded in a cocoon of love right now. <laughs> and I know that is so uh, corny to say, but that's exactly how I feel. I just feel so warm and supported. And I mean, my, my head is in such a good place right now. And that truly is because of all of you and your love and support. And one of the things that really made me understand, which I already did understand, but it hit home, is we are truly a family. This community has become my family. And when a member of your family is in crisis or is hurting, you gather around. You rally the troops and you go help. And that is exactly what happened to me this week. Um, so I'm so grateful for all of you. Um, so last week was one of the hardest weeks in my journey so far. But the weird thing is this week is probably one of the greatest weeks in my journey so far. <laughs> and so then it led me to think a lot about um, my decision to get weight loss surgery in the first place and that process, how that evolved. And um, I don't think I've ever really shared with you guys um, how that evolved. So I'm just going to very quickly tell you that story. Um, you, I did share that it happened on my 45th birthday. I had my rock bottom moment. I felt like um, I'd wasted 20 years of my life and that the rest of my life was going to be over if I did not make this final thing to get this weight off. And, you know, finally, after 20 years of every battle under the sun to get it off, I kind of admitted I was powerless over my food addiction and I needed help and basically cried out to God for that help. Um, that was the turning point in my whole life is when I finally let go of my own control and said, I can't control this anymore. I can't do this. I need help. I need something different. And um, I was led to weight loss surgery. What I haven't told you guys yet, which I think is so important for you to know, is um, I actually went to see my surgeon and I did the whole insurance process. I was denied. I was absolutely denied. My insurance company said, in no way, shape, or form do we cover weight loss surgery. And of course, I was devastated thinking there's no way in hell I'm going to get this weight loss surgery because I don't have the money. <sighs> the very next day, literally the very next day, a check came in the mail to me, um, opening up the door for my weight loss surgery. And I knew in that moment, beyond a shadow of a doubt, and I do not know what all of your faith is and what your beliefs are, but I knew that that was God's way of telling me that he was going to get me through this, that I was meant to do this, that he had a plan for me. Um, it was my own money, and I had to pay it back, um, and I'm still paying, <laughs> but the door was opened up to me, and I know that was God. So the reason I'm telling you this that story is last week I had a very similar rock bottom moment. It felt the same as that first rock bottom moment where I felt completely out of control, where I felt completely devastated and did not know what I could do and basically just said, help me. Um, 
I believe that the joy I'm feeling this week, I believe that the support I received from you guys and finding my sweet spot this week, I truly believe God is behind that. Um, I believe maybe he decided that um, <laughs> I had learned what I needed to learn. And I'm starting to feel like maybe that's why it has taken me so long to get to the sweet spot. Maybe that's why I had to take 16 months to get there. Maybe there were things that I had to learn along the way first. Um, I definitely know that taking 16 months has allowed me and forced me to focus on a lot of my mental journey that maybe I would not have been able to focus on had I got there faster. I don't know. All I know is, you know, and I'm sure that a lot of you might think that there's other explanations and might search for those other explanations, but it feels right to me and it, I feel it in my heart that I feel like this is God, that it's God is moving through me, that he's letting me know this week, it's okay. I have a plan for you, it's okay. Um, and he's moved me past that devastation I was at last week, and I can't tell you how happy I am this week. So, um, sorry to get all spiritual on you guys, but that's how I'm feeling today. I am feeling so filled with joy and happiness and gratitude. Um, and so excited about what's to come. So that's all I have to say for now. This is day five. Two more days and I'm all, I'm free. <laughs> and I just want to say I love this daily back and forth and talking to you guys and, and the response. But oh, it is so hard to make a daily video. And I am looking forward to weekly videos again. And I promise not to ever get off track again. Weekly videos. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.